Obnoxious screaming is me. Yes, this year I got to go to E3 and so much more. But first of all, let's rewind so I can explain to you how Ubisoft changed my life and why you should never give up on your dreams. I've never been shy of saying that Beyond Good and Evil is my favourite game. What is your favourite game ever? And ever? yes, that did game. used to be me in a very old QA, so. Mm -hmm. but it's probably gonna have to be Beyond Good and Evil just because it was the first game that I ever got very excited about as a kid. I really had enough? Great, let's move on. <laughs> Even though Beyond Good and Evil wasn't very known at the time, it opened up my eyes to a whole new world of gaming. It showed me new elements that led me to being immersed like I'd never experienced before. Not only was Jade an awesome female protagonist, but there was a wealth of characters, music, gameplay elements such as sneaking, racing, fighting, flying, taking pictures of animals. I'd never experienced a game that could give me variety in terms of gameplay, but somehow keep it simple and make it feel real. Beyond Good and Evil offered a surprise around every corner, not to mention the dark and very real subject matter of trafficking and government corruption that it brought to light. I was pretty young when I played this, but this had quite an impact on me. Every emotion was felt. Excitement, frustration, sadness, elation, serenity, fear. I played many games since this one, but simply put, no game has stuck with me quite as strongly as this one, leading me to take up film and photography at a very early age, but eventually finding myself with an urge to learn the concepts behind game development for myself, to try and recreate the same intense immersion that Beyond Good and Evil gave me. From this slow motion fight scene at the very start of the game, I was hooked. It pretty much shows what the rest of the game is about to entail. Adventure, action, excitement, but also such detail to make you really pay attention to the beauty of the game. And that's what I love about Beyond Good and Evil. As years passed, Beyond Good and Evil 2 was teased again and again but unfortunately, led nowhere. <laughs> Until we fast forward to E3 I think we can all relate to this. Thank you, Michelle. And because of this, I had 
to write a song. I, I just knew I had to. So from that day on, I started writing lyrics in my spare time and my breaks at work. I worked with my producer, Jamie, at Horizon Productions, and we created Green Eyes. Some of you might have seen it, but it was a song about Beyond Good and Evil 2 and how excited I was for it. Now, I didn't really think it would go anywhere, but my co-worker at the time, Kai from Kai Creative, check him out, he's a really good videographer, he told me that maybe I should try and send it to Gabrielle Schrager and see what comes of it. She is the narrative director of Beyond Good and Evil 2, and I just thought, why not send her a message on LinkedIn? And she replied, that was enough for me, but it doesn't end there. Fast forward a few months and I find myself in France. I've been invited to be part of the Beyond Good and Evil Community Leaders Programme where they basically get the the biggest fans of Beyond Good and Evil together to do workshops about the next game, which I think is pretty darn awesome. It's such a good idea that they're actually reaching out to their fans, to their community, and seeing what the people want from Beyond Good and Evil 2. I just think it's really good and genuine approach to it. And also it takes balls because they're trusting us not to spill the beans. So obviously I won't be able to tell you anything that goes on in those workshops because I can't but I also just want to let it be known that Ubisoft are doing something like this and I think that's so good because I for me it's kind of unheard of for them to just reach out to their fans this early on and be like okay we want this to be such a good game what do you want it's really cool it's really cool and uh, a lot of people are here from the forums online and things because they talk on there all the time and we're all just massive Beyond Good and Evil fans so it'll be good to just chat about my favourite game with some people who feel exactly the same way. Ah, it doesn't feel real. Being here is so inspirational and then knowing that I will soon be in the presence of Ubisoft is freaking mind blowing. I'm actually really overwhelmed. It's been amazing. I don't want to break their trust by saying anything that I can't say, so all I will say about this is that I think it's such a great idea that they're getting their fans involved in such a way. It's really overwhelming when you fall in love with a game. And it's not even the fact that I fell in love with Beyond Good and Evil, which I did. But it helped shape my career path. It helped me realize what the gaming platform could be for me. Um, yeah, I just think without that, I wouldn't be where I am right now. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is, is that they feel so strongly about this next game. They want to get it right so badly that they've invited Beyond Good and Evil's biggest fans to just come and talk to them about just the game and being excited and getting our opinions and views on things and they are just as passionate as us and I think that is amazing. I understand what they're doing is such a huge risk but I really appreciate it and I respect them so much. I want you guys to know that, that they really do care about this game and not only this game but the others that they make as well. They talk about them all so passionately. 
and it's it's so beautiful to be around people who really appreciate um, what they do and they love what they do and they they love games like they they get it they are gamers and I'm meeting wonderful people as well it's not just about me it's I'm meeting some really great people who all share the same passion as me and we get to talk about our favorite game together and it's just great who wouldn't like that it's so good oh yeah i'm a happy girl i'm a happy girl thank, thank you, you. I made a really weird noise, but leave this in. This is just like the awkwardness that we are. <laughs> yeah, screw it, that's the end. <laughs> it was not the end. Just a few months later, and I was uh, singing to myself in an airport. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. And on my way to Los Angeles as a Ubisoft star player. So I'm going to try and vlog my experience of being a Ubisoft star player. It started off crazy. Um, I don't know if you actually got to listen to the footage of me being in the Mexico airport. Um, so I went to Mexico instead. Nope, turns out you can't hear that. But I got sent to Mexico City because my flight got cancelled, I was just sitting on the flight, you know, ready to go, ready to go to LA, you know, ready to claim my fame and fortune, fame, my fame and fortune, and yeah, it just got cancelled, and we all got told to leave, and I was like, oh, okay, but what now, what do I do? Um, so I had to wait in customer services for like hours, blah, blah, blah. long story short, Ubisoft are freaking amazing, I don't know how they did it but they made it so that I could get there for the Ubisoft conference. We're finally at E3, and how red am I, very red. But we're with the other Ubisoft star players. Because that was the main thing, and I took so much footage of that. I'm sure you've either already seen it, or put it in after this. But I am so glad I didn't miss that conference. So glad, because, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I mean, <laughs> I've been wanting to cry. No, don't cry. I, I'm so, I'm so jet lagged. Okay. Jet lagged. I look like a boy. Don't judge me. This isn't me going over the top. Although I, I am a crier. I, I cry when I get overly emotional. Like if I'm angry, or really happy, I just cry. I'm a crier person. A crier person. And just, I think I'm still very overwhelmed because I literally came from Mexico yesterday so i was happy i got some mexican food because you know you can't go wrong with some mexican food but um anyway let's stop talking about food and start talking about the actual conference it was honestly a dream come true i mean i was sat there in in the um crowd just looking at the stage just knowing that usually i'm at home watching it oh no <laughs> why am i crying I, this is just really overwhelming and like in, in the best way possible these are happy tears i promise um yeah it's just it's just really nice i'm trying to put makeup on while i'm crying this ain't gonna work this is not gonna work um it's just really refreshing to see like how much ubisoft really do care about the players the gamers the people that love what what they make and to see the passion and dedication that goes into just saying thank you it's really inspired me to like want to be not only like making games that's kind of taken over now like of me just playing them for the fun of playing them you get what i mean um and that's kind of sad because actually the communities that get made um the friendships that get made the the kind of bond that you share with people who not only play games, but play the sorts of games that you play, because everyone plays games for different reasons, right? And once you meet up with someone who has such a deep love for something that you also have a love for, it's hard not to, to form a bond with them. I've got 10 minutes anyway, so I'm gonna stop my, my um, rambles, quickly slap this on my face, and then run downstairs to have 
breakfast with the Beyond Good and Evil team. I'm just so happy to be here and thank you to everyone for supporting me. Um, I'll probably do this again later when I'm not, <laughs> when I'm not like feeling crying. I'm not feeling crying. When I'm not feeling emotional or as emotional because I think this whole experience is just one like emotional roller coaster that is freaking amazing. But anyway, sorry about the weird shot. I've kind of plugged you up somewhere and I know the lighting isn't the best, but it's probably for the best now because oh my god, my makeup is going over because I've been crying. Okay, shush, stop. Don't take the pins out of me. I'm an emotional girl, okay? That's what makes me unique. See ya. <sighs> okay, enough emotions, back to the fun stuff. Yesterday we went to E3, finally, and um, I posed with Norman Reedus, not the real Norman Reedus, I wish. And then what else did I do? Oh my gosh, Fallout had this awesome thing where you get put like into a vault. It wasn't actually playing a game, but it was like experiential, and I love that type of stuff. But unfortunately we didn't queue up, and then by the time we got back, they weren't letting anyone else in. Today, we're going back to the Ubisoft lounge because that's where we were went, where we went after E3. Yeah, better hurry up. Yeah, oh, God. oh my gosh, guys, I played The Division 2 last night. I'm really bad at those types of games. Um, but actually, it was super fun because even though I'm not like a big shoot 'em up action player kind of person, it had a lot of details that I really didn't expect. Like, we were playing, and obviously we could hear each other through the headsets. And um, I just saw this little deer, and then it started to run away. I was like, guys, deer, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot, I know. Also, trials. I forgot how much I love trials, because if you have been following me for a while, you know that I started gaming because I loved racing car games. I used to play them all the time as a kid. All the time. And then Trials was right up my alley. It was just so much fun. And I used to play with my friends when I was a kid and we used to just be really competitive about it. And um, I'm no way as good as I used to be, but it was so, so much fun. I mean, it's just nice to play a game sometimes and literally switch off. Just just switch off and just get lost in trying to beat a high school. So that was really fun. Just tell the camera we're playing trials. We're playing trials. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And we're just taking moments this to is the Today is my day, actually. I'm going to be on the little Ubisoft lounge stage talking about the hit record partnership with Beyond and Evil 2 which is the community thing. And I've also got a separate video to upload about that. I've created something and um, we're gonna be showing it today and damn, I hope people like it. And I hope you like it too when I put up that video. I'll probably put that one up before this one actually. So you've probably seen it. I hope you like it. Um, but yeah. A face in your dreams and someday your If you're passionate and you have a dream, 
then don't give up. Don't be discouraged to share what you love online. Create until your heart's content because you never know who might see what you put out and you might be given a once in a lifetime opportunity. I just want to thank everyone who helped me get to where I am today and obviously Ubisoft for really appreciating what everyone does around their games and for giving us this opportunity. I met so many wonderful, passionate, inspiring individuals and all of you made this trip absolutely amazing. All right, well done everyone. Thank you.